Om Shanti. In today's session, we are going to cover the topic of Sato, Rajo and Tamo Guna. Okay, Sato, Rajo and Tamo. In the previous session, um, we had said soul takes rebirth, right? And we also have uh, showed you the slokes. Uh, in here, we are going to um, show some slokes on Sato, Rajo, Tamo because in the previous session, we had mentioned that uh, soul, when it takes the body, it is bound by three gurans and that becomes a cause for soul to take rebirths. Okay. Um, so these are the slopes, important slopes we are taking, uh, which are direct. Okay. Um, and then later, all the indirect slopes we will cover. Okay. See, chapter 3, slope 27, it clearly says all actions are being performed in every way through gunas of nature. Prakriti Kriya Manani Guna Gune Karmani Sarvasha. Okay. Um, the man who is uh, especially deluded out of egoism believes that I alone am the door. Okay. Um, so that is very clear, right? So as soon as it takes a body, okay, I have I had given an example um, in the uh, session, right, previously that uh, Think about uh, an uh, operating system. In your computer, um, you have both of the operating system. Um, in uh, Like as Android or, the, I'm sorry, Windows operating system or iOS and iOS. Okay. So as soon as you turn on the computer, um, it, the first thing you will be asked, right, uh, which operating system um, you uh, you want to uh, use right to function um, the computer um, and you will choose one right so by default you have to I mean out of uh, your wish you still uh, you have to make a choice same thing when soul takes a body um, it, soul has to choose one right mode sato rajotama okay um, when you remember when you have a dominance of the sanskars of the soul you um, pick the, basically, the soul uh, selects the sato guna, right? Soul um, goes into that mode. Then uh, if you when you forget yourself as a soul, it goes to the default mode of Raju and Tama. And that's what's happening with us right now, okay? And this is um, the pure edu this is uh, the pure education which is given by God himself at this time. That's why we are able to recognize ourselves as a soul. Hmm. Um, let's go to the next slok. Okay, we covered chapter 3, slok 27. Another is chapter 13, slok 19. Okay, in here it says, Gunan Cheva Vidhi Prakruti Sambhavan. Okay, um, so it basically that says three qualities. Okay, the vices and three qualities as well to be born from nature. Okay, basically of the body. As soon as soul takes the body, this um, mode is basically active these three modes are activated through which soul um has to perform actions okay um and again there there is uh, there are slopes from chapter 14 now this chapter has so many slopes on this topic and it is clear it has clearly defined okay these three uh, modes or attributes you can say or qualities okay uh, just like in here, it says uh, Sattva Guna, uh, Sattva Guna, Rajo, Tam, all these three qualities have originated from nature, bind the imperishable soul to body, right? Um, and from 16, chapter 14, slope 16, um, it is defining, okay, what, um, when soul operates from Sattva Guna, uh, what kind of characteristics it will reflect, okay? So basically, soul will um, express the, the light of knowledge, okay? Um, it will be free from diseases, okay? And um, it will be happy, okay? It will have the attachment to the knowledge, okay? The pure knowledge. And uh, it will have the attachment to the pure happiness of soul consciousness, okay? Right now, we have completely forgotten ourselves. So one of the basic uh, uh, requirement to be, to operate through the Satogun is to, have that awareness that I'm a soul, okay, which we don't have right now. So we are not operating from Satvagun right now. 
okay um so th this has to be constant it's not just little bit and then i have some negativity and then no satogon it's uh, um reflects satogon reflects complete positivity purity okay now you can see here the jogun okay chapter 14 slok 7 um so when we are we operate under the jogun which is in form of passion to have originated from greed and from greed attach attachment okay so we 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 go through it right in our behavior in um we we see like non-stop desires we we have to create so many thoughts so many thoughts right we think oh we are doing necessary things okay but we don't even know how we are trapped by the vices okay um so we are operating based on the vice of greed but we don't even know that okay uh, so the jogun in form of passion actually to have originated from greed and attachment okay that binds the soul in what in increase in attachment to the actions that's what exactly we are experiencing right we we want to see, we want to pretty much get over with all these things so the situation is perfect i can take out the time for the soul and my practice meditation but when i don't have when i situations are not good and i have so much work okay and either my mind is boggled with so many things okay um and i have a lot of worries and tension and that that is the time i need to practice more of soul consciousness but i'm just going away from it okay so attachment to the action operating from the five vices less tender great attachment ego that is a sign that um uh, i'm operating from the jogu now look at the tamogun okay tamogun chapter 14 slok 8 have originated from ignorance that completely binds through carelessness laziness and sleep okay so all this characteristic we see right um some of some of sometimes we don't even know that we are going through this we are experiencing it okay um so and then we we know that extreme foolishness the foolishness actually here okay where we have become foolish because of uh, in bhagavad gita also says whoever becomes angry okay say think this the foolishness exists in you okay um so anger extreme attachment okay um the hurt that we are we are experiencing like severe pain right some things we can't even forget for days that is uh, basically under tamoguna okay it's happening due to dominance of tamoguna okay we have a lot of jealousy anger irritation all those things where is it coming from the tamoguna okay um so very important to understand where we stand right now despite uh, having so much information about scriptures and uh, our opinions and beliefs we are carrying which we feel comfortable we are still operating from under the joint tamoguna so if we are operating through satoguna because satoguna what does it do right it's uh, basically the we already saw um if we are under satoguna okay we are going to operate through the light of knowledge right and we will be happy we'll be feeling happy constantly but we are not if we would have that pure light of knowledge with all this information then i would not go to the joint tamoguna okay i will be uh, dominating my sattva guna and by now i would uh, have learned how to remain happy completely and god says in one birth itself is sufficient you don't have to take constant rebirth if you take true knowledge pure knowledge even for one birth it is sufficient okay to uh, dominate your satogun okay so look at this um slokes now for chapter 14 slope 9 okay um so satogun engages the bodily beings in happiness the jogun engages in the actions right or tamogun covers the knowledge and makes them careless okay um and if you you have gone through this right in the raj yoga study if you have not done the seven um you have not gone through a seven day course please do so so you can be more educated on this right and we can actually make effort to now go to our sattva gun right uh instead of living in ignorance and thinking that i know what i'm doing and still behaving under the rajo and tamagun okay we can stop that so this is the pure knowledge given by god it will help us quite a bit
All right. Um, so satwa by uh, supp uh, suppressing rajo. So in, uh, when uh, we create satwa gun, it will suppress rajo and tamo gun. Okay, so it, it's either or. You can't just like you cannot have iOS and um, Windows operating at the same time. Similarly, it's here. Okay, so some of the positive character qualities that we reflect, it's still under the joint tamogun. Okay, so satogun actually reflects positivity uh, constantly. Okay, um, so through the light of knowledge, okay, in yes, is light of knowledge generated uh, in all gate of this body, no, the definitely satogun is especially increased. That's why we said, right, we become disease free because the, the power of satogun. Um, uh, is reflected through the whole body, okay? It uh, spreads, okay? It flows throughout the body, that energy travels, okay? Um, uh, and uh, makes the body like pure as well, okay? Um, now, 12 and 13, okay? When the jogun increases, beginning of the tendency of greed in actions, desire and restlessness are created. So right now, we are feeling restlessness. Um, it's due to the uh, having dominance of the Juga. Okay, in Tamagun especially increases carelessness, darkness of ignorance, uh, attachment. Okay, right now severe attachment. I already said right, uh, and disinterest. Okay, the path of life, uh, darkness of ignorance in the path of life, disinterest in the acts of benefit. Okay, if this is something. It's an act of benefit doing this study, going through this study, but. We don't have interest right now. Okay, so that is also the sign of, of uh, Tamoguna. Okay, um, and then going down further. So when we have, uh, we perform good action under Satogun, having Satvik fruits. Okay, we operate through Rajogun, Havala reaction, it will give us sorrow. Okay, and uh, ignorance is the fruit of the Tamsi. Okay, we become more and more ignorant, considering fall things to be true. And we go away, more and more away from the truth. Okay. The one who are, who have the have the jogun, uh, dominance of the jogun, at least um, they would be able to explore the truth. Okay. Tam Tamogun people will not even, uh, would like to explore the truth. Okay. The light, they are so far away from the light of true knowledge. Okay. All right. And last look in here is, um, and here, the power of intelligence actually is created through Satvagun. Greed alone is created through Rajo and ignorance and carelessness and foolishness, okay, through Tamugun. And uh, if you remember in the course, we talked about the position, right, uh, of the souls um, um, in the Paramdham, right, as an inver inverted tree form. So this slok actually connects with that, that all the powerful souls who have the dominance of Satvagun, they... They are uh, um, positioned uh, at the top, okay? And the one who have dominance of Rajogun, those are the soul who are showed in the branches, all the religious father and uh, their followers, right? They come from the copper age, right? From the Ratsi Yuk. So the Rajogun is, becomes dominated from the copper age, okay? And then we have uh, in the Kali Yuk, all the, the souls in uh, away from Supreme Soul towards this corporeal world, they are shown in uh, downwards. Okay, so they are the one who have um, the dominance of Tamogun. Okay, so they just experience little bit of happiness for one birth, even in one birth, even little bit of it, and then they experience more sorrow that uh, uh, Tamogun becomes activated. So they only come in the Iron Age. That's why population is increasing, right? Every soul comes at different time. Uh, so that you can understand more in the uh, during the sessions, okay, on a basic and advanced course. During the basic and advanced course. All right. Best wishes. Om Shanti.